Now that you're familiar with the theory, it's time to get in some practice. Our first case is a female patient with fissure caries. The aim is to achieve a germ-free fissure which is completely covered by the seal. A Cavo Profiflex air powder jet instrument is used to first clean the fissure and then to dry it. In order to guarantee that the fissure is completely free of germs, a laser fluorescence measurement is carried out using Cavo Diagnodent. Microbial activity must be below 10 or the fissure cannot be sealed. Because caries has already penetrated further into the fissure, the fissure is first extended using, depending on the individual situation, a Cavo Rondoflex air abrasion instrument, the SonicFlex system or, in the advanced stages, using turbines and a fine diamond burr. The second measurement confirms that microbial activity is below 10, meaning that fissure sealing can go ahead. Cavo Hilozone is first used to kill off sufficient germs within the fissure. Choose a treatment duration time of 40 seconds. If the molars are uneven to the extent that they are preventing a vacuum from being created, use your finger to press the silicon cup on tightly. You should now use a rubber dam for the patient's protection. A 35% solution of phosphoric acid is applied for 15 seconds to etch the enamel. Use the multipurpose syringe to rinse the solution off and then dry the area. Be careful not to over dry, otherwise the adhesive layers and bond may not disperse correctly. Apply the first adhesive layer, blow a short blast of air onto it and leave to stand for one minute. Apply the second adhesive layer, blow air onto it and again leave to stand for one minute. Now apply the bond, blow a short blast of air onto it and cure under the polymerization light. The composite is now applied with a fine needle and cured under the polymerization light for 40 seconds. Then check occlusion. The seal should be checked up on at regular intervals by means of patient recall. Cavohilozone is also used to treat patients with smooth surface caries. In our first case, subsequent conservative treatment is not required because the tooth surface is intact and exposed. For the purposes of treatment, the application area is first cleaned using the air powder jet instrument. Make sure that the jet incidence angle is set correctly. Then dry the area. You then perform a visual diagnosis. You then need to analyze microbial activity. It is recommended that you use Cavo Diagnodent for this. The fluorescence values must be carefully documented. Apply a zone to the affected area for a duration of 40 seconds. The cup again remains on the tooth for the rinse procedure. Apply the pH balancer in preparation for mineralization. The remineralization process occurs through the patient's use of the Helozone patient kit at home. Remember to inform your patient in detail about the role they play in their own caries treatment. Depending on the constitution, the patient can be invited back for a checkup, which will involve another Helozone application after only two weeks. The final session usually takes place between four to six weeks after the initial treatment. The carious lesion is probed to check its healing progress. 
microbial activity is then analyzed using cavodiagnodent. The level measured is not for proving that the tooth has healed, rather it is used as a new reference value for the healed tooth. Please note this figure down carefully. After four to six weeks of remineralization, the new reference value may be lower than, equal to or even greater than the initial value. During remineralization, food-based chemical processes can cause harmless fluorescent stains or colorings to lodge within the still porous structures, leading to an increase in levels measured. During the regular six-month recall appointment, the diagnodin levels may remain the same as the reference value or fall below it. This is because remineralization is an ongoing dynamic process. However, a significant rise in levels is an indication that new caries have formed. In addition to having an impressive effect on teeth, Cavohilozone can also be used to successfully treat soft tissue diseases such as aphthous ulcers and herpes labialis. Because a specific concentration of 4,494 mg per cubic meter of ozone only kills off bacteria, viruses and diseased human cells, whilst ignoring non-diseased human cells, the wound is able to heal within three days, faster than with other treatments. Apply ozone for a duration of 30 seconds. One to two applications are sufficient. Experience has shown that cavohilozone also plays a decisive role in filling procedures. Applying ozone guarantees a sterile, germ-free fissure, thus preventing caries from reforming beneath the new filling.